Hey, hey buddy. Hey, hey buddy. I know you're watching this video. Hey, hey buddy. Listen, 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 listen. Hi. <laughs> Looks like you've been a snag, so welcome back to Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. In the last episode, we completed some of the trials in the Trouble Center, got some star pieces, got some shine sprites, In this episode, we're gonna continue doing the same thing over and over and over again until we actually get everything we needed. So is that something right there? No? No? You're a lie. You're a liar! The game is a lie! Okay. So, in this part, we're gonna see if I can actually find some decent stuff. Because, you know, decent stuff is pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, I like decent stuff. Okay, so. Because we have the super hammer now, we have access to a new area that we previously didn't have access to before. No, who'd have thought, huh? I can't get on there. So what we have to do is break this block with the super hammer. Jump up there when it comes back down, because it's a little bippy and it doesn't like to just stay down. There's a shine sprite up here. Wanna get that? When you hit this box right here, pipe's gonna come up. And these pipes right here lead to both um, Pedalberg and the Great Tree directly, so you don't have to go through all that painstaking work just to get to one or the other. I believe this one leads to Pedalberg, which is the one we wanted to go to, because we accepted a Bulb Olber's uh, request. So watch this. Pipe appears out of nowhere, and we're here. Directly. So yes, it's very helpful to wait until you actually have access to the pipe, rather than just going all the way through that path. You slip through there, you get the Mega Rush P badge. Or if you defeat Hooktail, probably, because you got the slip, slimifying badge right there. Is this the one? Uh, I don't know. This is the type of creature we actually have to talk to. It's not that one directly, though. Kind of sucks, though. Why are you so special, huh? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Okay. I just I just had to let him know I'm on to him. I believe that there is a panel right here containing Star PC. Yes, there is. Okay, so this is the guy we need to talk to. Make sure you have two hot dogs and a cake, okay? Hello, a good day to you. I'm Bulb Older. Yuck. You came here every year in my quest, correct? I'm so happy. So happy. Look, there's Yoshi right there. And the flowers. Ah. Oh. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I've never experienced spiciness in all my life. You must be young and poor. And ugly. Some say they are sold in Glitzville. Please get me one for me if you can. I already got you one. I'm way ahead of your game, sir. Much, much smacker. Oh, oh, hot, 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 hot. This is so spicy. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. So, yes, you actually have to get him another hot dog, even if you went to Glitzville before. This is. I dreamt of this. I shall devour it immediately. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Spicy, spicy hotness! Now this is, this is spicy! Oh my, that was positively delicious! Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure! That ain't the only reason you're probably sweating. Oh, snap! I'm rather surprised that it was spicy, just rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to chase that, chase that with the sweet. Sweets are a spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Really? Just now, huh? Just now. Could you put, maybe cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. You want a moose on a cake? What? Oh, here you go. I just happen to have that too. <laughs> oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat it. So I won't. Merch. <laughs> oh, sweet. Good gracious. I'm quite satisfied now. But I feel like I've been demanding. Well, you kind of have if I haven't been like going around the place. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was just so selfish because... Well, because I'm such a peaceful place, I crave peace, love, and food. Evidently. I'm sure of that. Anyway, let me show you my gratitude. And you get a dry bouquet, which you can do with us. I think you can actually cook this. Uh, just bring me another hot dog if you want more dry bouquets. I doubt I would ever do that, because this thing only heals 1 HP! Totally not worth it, but it uh, opens up an option to actually get more uh, of this item. Which I uh, don't know what it does. Anyway. Continuing on, back to, uh, Rogueport. Remember, this game is off complete memory, so if I screw something up, don't blame me. Blame yourself for not realizing that I'm an idiot. Okay, so Merle wants a heartful cake recipe, which I cannot actually do quite yet, I don't think. No, I can't do that yet. Uh, let's see. What item do you want? 
I can't figure out what item he wants. I guess I'll go talk to Mayor Croot because he's like, he's like totally off and stuff like that. <laughs> no, not really. So I'm gonna cut back to Pellberg and go talk to Mayor Croot because he likes people to listen to his nonchalant talking and whatnot. I don't know what's no so nonchalant about his talking, but since I said it, I guess it must be true. Anyway, Big House, why, whatever. Talk to me, old man. Well, well, Murphy, you got my request. Good, good. Truth be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax with me for a bit, indulge in an old Koopa. I'm gonna read this as fast as I can because I really don't like reading this and this is just pointless to the story. Who to tell you the truth, I've been the same thing about the kids these days. The tempers are too short for their own good, for one makes me want to smack them. While well, I was shopping at the Toast to the Discount Super Charter the other day, and I was trying to pay, but my coin purse was so close that the kid behind me said, Hey, Jesus, you want to pay so much for your money? You're going to get Sundown down. Now, I might be a geezer, but Sundown was clearly taking that long as it was. Clearly. Speaking of the Sundown, reminds me of dating Mrs. back before she was with Mrs. Anyways, I had to go over to Sunset. Yes, sir, but Pa was an absolute maniac. Yeah, but I'd keep my eyes on the sun and off of my face as Mrs. Gentlemanly, eh? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blinding in a painful sort of way, and I'm falling asleep right here. Yeah, just make it my face feel awkward, it's a good grant, but that's not what I was talking about. Now, what was I? <clears throat> oh, that's right, kids today, they know nothing about the patients, I tell you. Now, I want to stand up and yell, hey, you punks, be more patient right now. Speaking of which, I think I proclaim my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yo, yeah, she was leaving on a train, and yeah, I yelled from the platform, yeah, like a no, if he, yeah, her, uh, what was I, uh, something about her show, maybe. Uh, wait, I think I was straight from my main point again. What, what did I do? Uh, anywho, and the missus, I mentally left head over her shells, I tell you. No, uh, wait, my point was something about the kids today, right? Oh, sure, sure, whatever. Uh, my dear sweet missus, the way you come, my eyebrows, such tenderness. Uh, was, uh oh, oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you got my point. Sorry you had to listen to all that. Was it boring, though? I'd wager. I'm just happy I get a little face time with Yusuf today. Oh, yeah, I was totally paying attention. Oops, I forgot to set out the tea. Aren't I an old ninny? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water pot. Awfully sorry. Wow, you're just the worst part. <laughs> you're just the worst person ever. So you get a turtly leaf. This leaf can only be found in Pelberg. If you cook it, you can actually get some maple tea. So we might actually go ahead and do that. Give it to this tea because, you know, we gave her contacts back. She should owe us, man. Those things cost a fortune. They cost $10 for that little thing that doesn't even help you in the story. What the frick? Okay, got to make the roadboard. Gotta say that last one was tedious. Oh boy. Okay, what we got now? Uh, order me an item. Screw you. Emergency room. I'm getting up there in years. I want some insurance. A life room. Man, imagine if life were like that. You just buy a life room and you got life insurance. Amazing. So, if we help this guy, the puny elder, we can actually get some good reward for that because a life room is actually worth a lot of money. If you don't have a life room, you can actually go to uh, the l eastern side of Rogueport, where that kitty boo is, and you can actually... No, not where the kitty boo is, the uh, actual item shop over there, and uh, get one. What I'm actually going to do right now is cook the bouquet and the uh, turtley leaf to actually get the items that they ascertain. That way I can make some good stuff out of them. I don't know if this dry bouquet actually makes something well. I've been saying actually a lot. I know I, I've said that over and over again, but... Yeah. I just noticed it, man. I just noticed it. Alright, did it cook well? Uh, a mistake? What am I supposed to do with the dry bouquet, then? That's stupid. So, yes, if you actually give her a ingredient that she can't cook with, then it'll turn into a mistake. It only recovers 1 HP and 1 FP. So, it's actually more helpful than the stupid bouquet, so I actually increased, made it better. What the frick? By ruining it, I made it better! And so, with this turtley leaf, you actually get the Koopa Tea, it restores 7 FP. Not entirely worth it, I don't feel like, but I'm just gonna pretend like I totally meant to do that. So, I'm gonna go over to the eastern side of Rogueport over here. Screw you and your cherry bomb pun. What the frick is that, man? What the frick is that? Ugh! And if we go into the shop right here, we can buy the life shroom that I also desperately need for 50 coins. So, now that I've bought that, I'm going to cut over to the Great Tree. And I'll be there in a second. You little pippy. Yeah, I haven't called you guys that in a while, huh? Oh, gotta catch the elevator. Okay. So, this pipe obviously leads to the Great Tree. And let's see if I can actually do this right. Because, you know, I'm a screw-up, man. I'm a, such a screw-up. Uh, okay. Let's go inside. I'm surprised it actually didn't take down this metal door. Apparently, it just gives easy access to anybody to enter the door and just enter this tree. No, they're, they're like, inviting people to stay here, I swear. Okay, so that's the Elder. Oh, is that you, Mario? 
Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? Why? What is with you and that word pontificate? I don't like that. Or did you just bring me a life room? Yeah. Screw you. Life room. Oh, glory. You got one. A life room. Lovely. Thank you, Mario. Uh, it's Mario! Mario! And you made it before I actually needed it. Whew. Take this reward. A life room and health insurance. I'll live a long life now for certain. 60 coins. You actually get 10 coin rebate for that. That's not the only reason you want to actually come back to the Great Tree. What you want to do is talk to this uh, little girl right here. I forgot her name. Patuni? Yeah. Oh, Punio is always getting in trouble with the Elder. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can't you play with me instead? Sure, kid. Sure, kid. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. This is so awesome. Ready to play Stump Patuni? Okay. You can ask me any questions you want. There isn't a question I can't answer. Come on. Except every other one. Create an easy question that Petunia can answer. Okay, so there's actually only one answer that you can give her. Otherwise, any other answers for these will be too complicated. So, what you want to do is pick Mario likes which person the most. And if you don't pick that, it's always going to be wrong. The person Mario likes the most. Tee hee. I know that. You can't stump Petunia. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. Tee hee. Am I right? Yep, you got it, you dumbass. Petunia knows the answers to everything, except everything that you don't know. Oh, oh, that was fun. Here's playing for me. Here's a present. And you get the Mystic Egg. You want to keep this if you plan on doing the, um, side quest that I'm doing right now. That is very helpful. In fact, if you want to, I would suggest you store that into the item shop. That way, you won't even have a chance of losing it. So trust me, it's actually a very important item for this. So yes. Take care of it! Treasure your eggs! Don't turn them into, uh, scrambled breakfast. Alright, I think there's like one more request to do, and that is... <sighs> okay, maybe not one more request, but whatever. Besides those two that I don't really want to do. Uh, order me an item! Our shop's inventory is low, I need to come to shop in Roadport Square. Okay, I'll go to shop in Roadport Square, and I just forgot something. Damn it, now I gotta go all the way back to the great tree later. CRAP! Alright, I'm here. What do you want? Welcome, yes. Welcome to the Toad's Bros Bazaar. Ah, you've accepted my trouble, huh, fella? Sure did, you little bippy. Now we have a real hard time finding curd shells. I need you to bring us five from anywhere you can find them, okay? That's five curd shells. I'm counting on you. Seriously, how can you count on me? I, I can't be counted on. I can't... Oh, thank you. Just, just please, please store this. I want you to hold this now. Okay. So, I'm gonna go get five curd shells, and if you want a good place to get curd shells, you can go to Pellberg, and they sell them. So, I'll see you guys there, where I'm actually going to buy them. Okay, so here's the item shop in Pellberg. There's curd shells right there. They're only five coins apiece. And because we actually bought ten items in total from a shop, we got a free mushroom. That's pretty nice. Uh, so, we're gonna buy the rest of them. That's three, four, and... But stop, no. Five. You gotta butt salt when you get the fifth one, because that's just Morse code, baby. That's just the code of the plumber right there. You have to butt stomp, baby. Bang! Okay, so since I was out, I figured I might as well go to the Great Tree again, because I did forget to get the star pieces I uh, didn't get before. If you go in this room, there's a panel right here. You can get this star piece. And also, if we go to the ch chamber where the... They were holding the punnies. There's actually a flip tile in there, so if I, I'll see if I can actually head in there really freaking fast, man. It's so awesome and stuff like that. Come on, move faster. Move faster, drafty. You're, you're drafty. You're not pokey. I don't know, your hair's kind of pokey. I don't know, whatever. What are you doing in here? What do you got to say? Hmm? There must be some way we can use this cage without getting locked in. <laughs> I doubt it. You suck too hard for it to be any use to you. So if you go in this cage right here, star piece. Definitely want to get that. Is there anything in this room now? Is there any punnies in here? Was it worth even coming in this room? No, it wasn't. Screw you. Um, also, there's a whole bunch of flags out on the, uh, these tables right here. I actually see these tables a couple of times at the Great Tree. I, did, I just failed to point that out before. I just figured I'd make mention of it. So I'll see you guys back in uh, Rogueport yet again. What the hell? So much cutting, I feel like I'm going to get a paper cut. Ha ha ha. Nah, that was terrible. Alright, I'm back, because you know I like to be back and stuff. Welcome, yeah. Please find those curtains. I already found them. Here's one, two, three, 
Bus. One. There's your reward. Hope you like it. And you get an... Oh, I got redeemed. That is definitely worth your time. That is definitely worth the time to do. I'm not... I'm, I'm actually surprised. Huh. So, now with that com conquest complete. Yes, I, I'm that badass. I actually made that rhyme. We're going to do another one and call it quits for this conquest. Or, you know what? Screw that. We're not going to do another quest. We're pretty much done with the uh, remainder of the episode. I just wanted to do this one last thing, and then we're going to call it quits for this conquest. Conquistadore! Whatever. Okay. So we got Dazzle right here. We want to get some stuff. Holy crap, I have 30. What the frick? I didn't know I had 30 of these. Holy crap, man. Uh, get the Power Plus badge. This boosts your uh, attack and defense. You know, your hammer abilities, right? Boost your partner's attack by one. Okay. Well, it takes, like, 6 P, man. Eight, I mean, BP. Uh, this is definitely worth your time. It's Flower Saver, I believe? I don't know. Happy Heart? I don't need a Happy Heart. Give me a Pretty Lucky Badge. Pretty Lucky Badge uh, It's pretty much the same as the Close Call Badge, I believe. Except it always works instead. And that's pretty much it. So, let's see if I could actually put on any of these badges. I got some real good ones, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, you little baby. I really gotta say, stop saying that, but I, I just love it! I love calling you babies! Uh, I don't believe I really need the Happy Heart Badge, honestly. It doesn't help that much. I don't really need the Quake Hammer that much, either. But it never hurt to have it. Uh, I like the Happy Heart a lot. I really like the Happy Heart. Um, where's that Power Up move? The Power Up Badge? Where, where did I get it? It's like six. Where's the six? The six. Oh, here it is. Um, hmm. oh, I'm gonna put on the pretty lucky, and then I'm gonna put on the power smash again. And that's good. That's good for now. So, with our conquests complete, next time on Paper Mario and the Millennium Door, we're going to do one final errand. See if I missed any star pieces or anything like that. And then we're finally going to go to the Millennium Door. Show it that hey, yo, dog, I can progress the story along. Read this, biatch. See you guys next time. Later. Seriously, what is with mysterious outros I don't even know?